show that has kind of a silly twist to it. Today, Jesse is going to be teaching us his amazing meatloaf. Hi. Hey. Hey. <laughs> you want to come over to my house? <laughs> you know, you, you, you want to come over to my house to play my little dance? You got like one-legged humor and one-legged <laughs> pornography, okay? okay. <laughs> You have like one leg in humor and one leg in play. Play Sam. Hey. Hey. I'm come to my house. I'm playing my dolls. I got them dolls. You know, you like them dolls. Them dolls. They wear sunglasses at night. That is all. Hey, we're going to make some uh, really low carb meatloaf today. Uh, what you're going to need is some ground beef, obviously, a couple of eggs. I like to put cheese in my meatloaf because I can't put breadcrumbs and stuff in there. So we like to cheese it up a little bit. We have some feta today and some cheddar. Uh, so you can season it according to your own personal preferences. You can't have nothing without a little adobe in there and some paprika, some, uh, some Tony Chatcher's Creole. Uh, along with some garlic powder and of course some onion powder. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to crack a few eggs. Put some eggs in there. Let me throw some adobe in there as well. Some Creole powder. Some onion powder. And again, this is mostly to compensate for the fact that you can't use breadcrumbs and stuff like that. So mix all these things in here. Paprika. Be careful with the paprika. A little bit goes a long way with paprika. Now we're going to throw some cheese in here. And again, you can use whatever cheese you want. We just happen to have a unopenable bag of cheese here. So. Cheese! <laughs> so we'll throw our cheese in there. Maybe save a little bit having a vegetable garnish or something like that. Now for the feta, we bought it in the block style, so that means you, the best way to break up feta cheese in the block style is just a, a little fork and a little twist in. Gets it all crumbly, which is what you kind of want, because you don't necessarily want big chunks of feta cheese inside your meatloaf. 
once you got that all crumbled up with the fork, just dump it on in. Make sure you get all of it because feta cheese tastes good. Okay, now you get your hands dirty. Take your wedding ring off. You don't want to end up cooking your wedding ring in your meatloaf accidentally. And then you just kind of just get your hands in there. And you mix it all up good. It's kind of like when you're a kid out and, and playing out in the mud. Well, you're going to eat this mud. And you mix it all up, squish it all evenly so it gets nice and good. Now, once you get all that stuff mixed together, you're going to take that big chunk of cheesy meat and put it in the pan. Make sure you get everything. Now, you're going to want this to be even as far as height goes, so it'll cook evenly, because if it's tall and big in the middle, sometimes the middle doesn't cook as well. Once you get that all put together like that, you preheat your oven to 375 degrees, put it in there for about 45 minutes. Obviously, you know, you have to check it to make sure that it's cooked all the way through, but 45 minutes is usually about a good number to start with. And uh, then when we come back, I'll show you how to throw the broccoli on there and how to cook that up in a pan as well. How about a, a fair antique? Is it going to continuously blink? Until we tell it it's done. <laughs> you know I'm cute. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to the first ever episode of <laughs> Fart Blossom Channel. Stinker, me likes the stinker. That is so rude. That is so rude. Okay, now we're getting serious. You got serious nose on? Put it on. I don't have any pockets in these bags. <laughs> hey, don't touch that. <laughs> My hands were right here. All right, get serious, Jesse. Hey, welcome back. We're going to put some vegetables on to go with our lovely meatloaf. Uh, today we're going to be making stir-fried broccoli. You can use fresh broccoli, you can use frozen broccoli. It's your own personal preference. They both cook the same way. Frozen broccoli is a little bit easier to deal with sometimes. But uh, we're going to go ahead and take our little pan here and put some olive oil in there or whichever oil you prefer. I like olive oil. Cut our bag of broccoli open here with our handy dandy kitchen scissors. Just dump that broccoli out there. Put it on a, a medium heat, like six or seven. A little secret that I've learned as far as seasoning your vegetables is you can use those Italian seasoning, those salad dressing seasoning mixes. They work really good for vegetables. And, and all you gotta do is just pour it right on, sprinkle it on. You don't have to use the whole box if you don't want. You season it to taste. You can fold this back up and it'll last for the next time. We're going to let that meatloaf cook. And we're going to cook some broccoli here. And you're going to watch this. Sing me a song, honey. <clears throat> sing. Sing a song. Sing out loud, sing out strong. I said it to a little boy. Uh -huh. What? No? Well, what kind of song do you want? Uh, sing a song about rainbows. <sighs> no. Okay. How about, how about, how about a song about a donkey? So they don't want a song about you? No. How, okay. about, how about a song about coconuts? 
You're trying to say you want to see my token back? No. no. You I'm want no? I know what it is. You are trying to say that's what the whole conversation is about. You're trying to say that you want to see my coconuts and make me sing when you jiggle them about. So will you sing a song about coconuts and jiggle them all about? No, I won't. I won't give you that satisfaction. Go oh, inside the little thing. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> are you fucking serious? <laughs> See what a good dog she is. She's she a good dog. Does what yeah, she's told. Me. She is every bit as good as a unicorn. Every bit, aren't you? Hey, welcome back. Uh, we finished up our meatloaf and our broccoli. Even add a little cheese to the broccoli to make it look all pretty and nice. And we're gonna take a bite of it right here. And see how it came out. Very tasty, if I do say so myself. Uh, directions on how to do this with ingredients and all that stuff are in the description. And uh, we hope you enjoy it. We hope you try out some of our meals and watch some of our videos. Check out our website. What else, honey? Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel. Check out our music. That's all that time, guys. Happy